welcome to my very own show. I'll introduce my friends to you. Oh no, it's Minnie Pooh. Shooby dooby doo wah wah. My name is Angela, and you are not. The net man war is a stuff up jerk face. Ah. And now to today's story, starring me and not starring the net man war. <laughs> It is art, and today Mrs. Brinks is making us create beauty out of wet paper mache. I think we should name him Benny. It has a quiet dignity so typical of his species. Isn't that right, Benny? Yes, it is! A talking beast? How quaint. It's not a beast, Nanette Mamoir. It's a giraffe. Pardon moi, Angela Anaconda. It's just that I thought our assignment was to create a work of beauty, which yours is most certainly not. May I present... The blushing goddess, Venus de Nanette. Ooh. Perhaps next time, even the four of you will be able to find a more suitable subject. <laughs> Perhaps next time, you will be able to take your stupid Venus de Nothing straight to... Mappersons! Mappersons, ba? I've got to find the rest of this article! What for? It's probably just another bake sale or something. Benny! Here it is! Mapperson's Bakery, Smudge Smudge, Grunion Run, Retired? Retired? Hold on, Benny. You'll make it through. I promise, little one. Don't do it, Mr. Mapperson. Don't retire. If I don't get my daily dose of cinnamon swirls, I'll lose my mind. Look what she did to Benny. Don't worry, Gina. I'm not retiring. The bakery oh. truck is. What about all the shut-ins who rely on Mapperson's delivery service? Don't you worry. As soon as I pick a new face for the new truck, we'll be back on the road. Say, I don't suppose any of you kids would want to have your face on the truck. Me? The Mapperson's truck face? I tell you what, you just bring along a picture tomorrow morning and I'll be happy to consider any of you. You hear that? One of us gets to be the new Mapperson's truck face. Right, Johnny Abadi. So whatever you do, don't tell anybody anything. That way, Mr. Mapperson will be sure to choose my face or one of our faces to be the face. Where's your picture, Gina Lash? I'm not entering. People should buy Mapperson's pastries because they're a quality product, not because they've been dazzled by my good looks on the side of a truck. Besides, I have issues with the exploitation of my image for commercial gain. Suit yourself, Gina Lash. With one less face in the running, my face's chance of having my very own face on its very own truck is that much better. I don't get it. How did everyone find out? Well, I may have told a few people at the pizza parlor last night. And then you'll get your face on the side of a truck. Don't tell anyone. Shh. <gasps> Mr. Mapperson, Mr. Mapperson, I hope it's not too late for me, officially the prettiest girl in Tapwater Springs, to submit a professionally photographed entry portrait. Huh? So now, on account of Johnny Abadi had to go and make a public announcement, every face in the whole town has got a shot at being the new face for Mapperson's new bakery truck. Well, almost every face. <laughs> <laughs> and being the truck face is all anyone can think about. Does anyone know who the patron saint of baked goods is? We'll need 80 reams of paper, a gallon of toner, 17 glue sticks, and a fuzz buster. If you two want to be my publicists, you had better be writing this down. Uh, Gordy, you gonna eat that donut? <gasps> donut? That's it! Enough about Mapperson's Bakery! I can't take the pressure anymore! <laughs> Come on, Benny, I'm withdrawing my picture! But Gordy, you can't leave school in the middle of the day! It's truancy, punishable by six weeks of... Is that chili con carne? Another face oh. bites the dust. Forgive me, Mr. Mapperson, but... <gasps> a burnt muffin! It's a sign! <clears throat> I should never have entered a contest fraught with such earthly vanities! <laughs> Banana nut? Mr. Mapperson, this contest is taking your focus away from your baking. Call it off before any more muffins fall victim to this senseless dog and pony show. Now, well, don't worry, Gina. There's hardly any faces left in the running. Candy Mae dropped out because she thought putting her face on a truck would hurt. Fact is, the only kids left are Angela, Nanette, Johnny, and Jimmy Jamal. Uh, <gasps> minus Jimmy Jamal. Well, Johnny, I guess it's up to you and me. Uh, actually, I'm out too. Nona said that if I use my face to endorse Mappersons instead of a body's, she'd give me the evil eye. Hello, John. 
John's little friends. And then, what are you doing? I've decided to give the town a little preview of my face so they can get used to seeing me everywhere. Et voila! Will you look at that? Walk around the block until I say so. Go, go! So now I am thinking that if Ninny Pooh can have an impressive idea, maybe I can use my dad's squeegee easy to also have an impressive idea, too. I'll wash his window, and with some luck, he'll put my face up on the truck. Then that somebody will frown and fret, because he picked me and not him. <clears throat> Nanette! What a charming singing voice. I'm surprised every dog in town isn't how it looks. You won't get away with this Angela Anaconda. Why, I'm going to... Wow, these windows never looked cleaner. Nice job, Nanette. Nanette? I thought this would make it easier for customers to see into your bakery and view the wonderful baked goods. That's the kind of considerate kids you want on a bakery truck. This is about the face again, isn't it? <sighs> I don't know why Mr. Mapperson just doesn't build a truck shaped like a loaf of bread. Nah. There's a Popemobile. Why not a Loafmobile? Yeah, but who wants their face on the side of a moldy loaf of bread? Don't you get it, Angela? The only thing that matters about Mappersons is the product. That's it, Tina Lash. The product. Mr. Mapperson, may I please have one of your delicious muffins on account of they are so delicious? I find them more than just delicious. I find them tray magnifique. That's why I'll have three. Well, then I'll have a baker's dozen. Care to sample my new double chocolate macadamia sugar sugar snaps? Nothing makes me happier than sampling your Trey Trey Bon confection. Personally, I think it's quite rude to turn down offered food, especially when there are children starving in mainland China. Don't you, Angela? I like your attitude, Nanette. Have you considered a future in baked goods? <laughs> Maybe I could have my face on a truck if I cheated, too. Cheater, cheater, poodle feeder. So now that you have gotten your way, my famous face friend, let's take this baby for a test drive. Ah! You will scream like a ninny. Ah! Poor little nin, you're covered in mud. But don't worry, my dad's squeegee easy will clean you in a jiffy. <laughs> much more than mine. You will scream. Watch your step, I will scream. What's that you say? I'm sorry, Ninny Poo, but you'll have to speak up on account of I can't understand you because your famous face is full of dough. Maybe you just need to be needed. Time for your starring role, my little tray tray bone confection, which is French for flat as a pancake. Oh, no, Ninny Winnie. It looks like you didn't make the final cut, my flat-faced friend. Now, just a little cinnamon and sugar to make it taste just right. <gasps> Come and get it! I will yell. I don't blame you, Ula Cheater. Nanette and her pickle friends would leave a bitter taste in anyone's mouth. <laughs> You're gonna have to pay for them, you know. <laughs> Well, Angela, I hope you're not too disappointed by the results. After all, you were Trey out of your league. Down, Benny. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you all for coming. So, without further ado, <laughs> I give you the new Mapperson Bakery Truck face. Me? Oh, what a modern surprise. I only hope that Gina Lash... <laughs> Mr. Mapperson, I didn't even give you my picture. I didn't need one. You're in the store every day. What other face would I choose to grace the truck but the one belonging to my best customer? My fellow Mapperson's patrons, I'm afraid I must decline this crown and my place on the truck. I cannot taint the sweet taste of poppy seed muffins with the evil seeds of commercialism. Oh, and besides the crown of rye, you also get all-you-can-eat cinnamon swirls. For the rest of my life? No, for the rest of the day. Mm, good enough. Mm -mm. No hard feelings, Angela Anaconda? I know you wanted to be on that truck, and you must be jealous of my all-you-can-eat cinnamon swirls. Actually, Gina Lash, if I never see another Mapperson's product again, I'll be just fine. <laughs> 
I suppose it makes sense that you won, Gina Lash. You are Mr. Mapperson's biggest customer. I'm so sorry that you didn't get your face on the truck, Angela. I guess you just didn't have the necessary je ne sais quoi, which is French for life is rough. Well, for your information, Nanette Manoir, you didn't get your face anywhere either. Au contraire, Angela. Mr. Mapperson is using my face to represent his brand new product. Isn't that right, Mr. Mapperson? Yep. When I saw how much her poodle liked my muffins, I said to myself, that's the new face of Mapperson's Meaty Munch Doggy Treats. Doggy Treats? That's right. I guess you're right, Nanette. Life is rough. Rough, rough, rough. <laughs> my dad is the most perfect dad in the world. But today, he is not so perfect. On account of he has entered us in a square dancing contest for square dancers. Get up, partner. Got to get ready for the father-daughter hoedown. Can't you and me do something fun instead? No! This will be fun, Angelfish. No! You'll see. <gasps> Matching Western outfits that match. Technically, they're called duds. Dud is right. I'll never be able to show my face in this town again. Angela Anaconda? Oh. Yeehaw! Well, Tarnation, blamed if it ain't old cowboy Billy's self. How's that mechanical bull I sold you, Spangly? Oh, well, she's still a buckin' like a pony in a poppy cock coop. Spangly Jangles talks and spits like a real life cowboy. He even looks like one, too. <laughs> Well, sir, I can see y'all have mighty fine tastes in Western duds, yes, sir. And have I got just the thing for you, little late? Cool, real life spurs. Maybe this hoedown idea is not such a bad idea after all. Now y'all are ready to square dance with the best of them, yes, sir. Oh, you'll be square dancing with the best, all right, Angela Anaconda. Lick. It is Nanette Memoir, my most hated enemy who I hate the most. What is she doing here? How do you all? <laughs> yeah, we're here to purchase a whole parcel, as they say, of Western wear to donate to the less fortunate participants in this year's hoedown. And Daddy says I can have my handmade imported kangaroo skin boots hand buffed by an authentic Old West cow hand. Merci beaucoup, Mr. Jangles, which is French for do a good job. <laughs> you aren't actually gonna wear that faux turquoise bolo tie, are you, old chap? <laughs> uh, so, um, Howell, uh, how's business these days? Booming as usual. Say, didn't you sell me a bull like that but bigger? Honey, I don't recall ever paying it off. You didn't? Well, I'll have to talk to Jen and, uh, I mean my, uh, bookkeeper. You do that and have her send me a receipt. I'm donating it to the hoedown. Another tax write-off, you understand? Of course, the real big hit of the affair will be my cactus flower and me, do -si doing our way to yet another square dance victory. What will that make it, Daddy? Two years in a row? Three, kitten. Three. Well, I wouldn't be clearing a space for that trophy just yet. Angela and I are entering the competition this year, and uh, we might just give you a run for your money. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, you were serious. Daddy, if the anacondas are going to be in this year's hoedown, oughtn't we buy Angela a proper Western outfit? After all, we are donating Western wear to the less fortunate participants. And look, Angela Anaconda's socks are so old, they keep falling down into her boots. Now, Angel Wings, I'm sure Nanette knows her offer is entirely unnecessary. Come on, Bill. It's not like your daughter couldn't use some sprucing up. <laughs> After all, she's not going to get noticed for her dancing. All right, Howell. That's it. You can insult my business. You can even insult my bolo. But nobody insults my daughter's do -si do Nobody. I challenge you to a hoedown showdown. Why uh, don't we make it a little more interesting, shall we? Say, if we win, I won't have to pay you the balance for that mechanical bull. Okay, but if we win, you'll have to buy ten more bulls from me. Deal? Deal. And may the squarest dancers win. <laughs> So now we have to learn how to square dance on account of it is a hoedown showdown, and we don't know how. Swing your partner, do see do element left, two and fro, skip to my lead, don't move, promenade around she goes. 
Princess, allow me to introduce Pierre, world-renowned choreographer. Enchanté, which is French for, we'd better win. You want to win? Well, winning costs. And right here is where you start paying in sweat. Not bad. Me and my dad almost don't step on each other's feet anymore. Except if my socks fall down and I have to pull them up on account of they won't stay there. I've got a way to make saggy socks a thing of the past. Cowboy boots? Not just any cowboy boots. Cowboy boots with my patented sock lock system. They have two-way super sticky tape inside to stick your socks to so they won't sag ever again. Those anacondas don't stand a chance. We're a shoe-in to win the hoedown. Those manoirs don't stand a chance. We're gonna wipe the dance floor with Nanette's baloney curls. Yeah! <gasps> well, at least my socks stayed up. Anaconda, I can't believe you're wearing that tacky outfit in public. And after I offered to buy you some real Western clothes, too. Spangly Jangles! Did you come to watch us dance the square dance? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Jangles is one of the judges of tonight's contest, aren't you, Jangles? Yeah. For all those duds I bought from you for the uh, less fortunate. Woo wee! Them's a lot of zeros, yes, sir. So what if Spangly Jangles votes for the man Worms on account of they bought a lot of duds? My dad says it is the square dance caller who can make you or break you. Come on, people, work with me. Let's get this dosy do on the road. Don't tell me he's the square dance caller. I'm afraid so, Angela Anaconda, as well as our own private attaché, which is French for dance instructor. Didn't I tell you? I'm donating the collar, too. It's all for a good cause. It's contest time, so if you dare, grab your partners and form a square. Yeah! Alamon left and do a twist, do see do around like this. I'll join hands, raise up to the middle, hands out front like cakes on the grill. Mix it up, PD. Switch your partners, don't be shy. Time to dance with the other gals, guy. What? But this isn't what we practice. Now that you have got the knack, find your partner, switch them back. <laughs> my, my, my. It's even bigger than last year's and the year before that. Maybe next year there'll be someone who's a worthy square dance competitor instead of just a square. Good one, kitten. <laughs> Annette Nitty Wart, now you'll do everything I want you to. Swing your partner, stub your toes, put your fingers up your nose. Uh, ah. oh. Get Timaloo right down in the dump. Now you are dancing in cow pie clumps. Uh. man left into the sheep shed. A real live cow hand buffs your head. Do see do the mechanical bull. You'll never come off with two-way super sticky tape bull. The winner of this hoedown is me and my dad, and you will lose because you are bad. <gasps> That's as close as you're ever going to get to winning a trophy, Angela Anaconda. And that's as close as you'll ever be to getting paid for that mechanical bull. <laughs> 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 
Hey, Spangly, don't you think the crowd should give the winners a big old Western hats off to you? What? But, Dad! Why, that's right. Neighborly of you to suggest. Y'all are good sports, yes, sir. <laughs> hey, folks, what do you say we give a big old Western cheer for the winners? Well, I had some two-way super sticky tape left over from those boots I fixed for you, and I... I didn't want it to go to waste, so... <laughs> See, Angel Wings? I told you, the father-daughter hoedown would be fun. Like I said, my dad is the most perfect dad in the world.